This week, we are taking you guys on our food journey for 24 hours, documenting on video everything that passes through our mouth holes for your entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. Today, we'll be sharing the kind of food that we love and feed us every day. We're matching today. We're like a boy band. I play drum and what do you do? Triangle. Suit you well. Yeah. Every Sunday when the weather is nice, our complex has a farmer's market where we can buy fresh produce. Today we bought corn to do a corn roast. It's a Quebec tradition to announce the end of summer. It's usually done with friends and family, but today is just the two of us, for obvious reasons. Our first meal today is breakfast. Not something we have every day because we wake up really late. Rolling in bed is one of our favorite pastime and it's not a hobby that we're willing to give up ever. Ever, ever, ever. And then you put whatever you want on it. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. You know what we want to do? Competition will finish faster and then you one, no. two, no, that's what you do in an appreciative building. Three. Go! Mmm. I'm not actually doing it. Really? Just me? And then it gets stuck in your teeth. I have a very strong urge to floss right now. Mm -hmm. In the butter. Yes. I can already feel my diarrhea kicking in. Just looking at that. <laughs> Shut your cornhole. <laughs> you want to make out to clean up my teeth? <laughs> mm. <laughs> so the day started getting a bit gloomy, and to be honest, we got into a bit of an argument, so we stopped filming for the day. Having YouTube as a job has been really fun, but we do need to be in the right mood to film, and that day, unfortunately, was just not that day. We talked it out that night and made up, and the next day we decided to go have one of our favorite cuisines in the world to cheer us up, so we headed to this restaurant called Mon Ami, it's a Korean restaurant, they have amazing chicken and we always order in. So this is our first time dining in at their location and it did not let us down. I don't know if it was the food or the K-pop music playing all my favorite tunes, but not even the rainy weather could ruin our mood. The weather got warmer towards the evening time, so we decided to hang at the park with Brutus. Making a whole video about food got me thinking about my relationship with food and how much it's changed since I was a kid. I grew up very skinny and so lanky. I was bullied throughout elementary and middle school because of it. Not just in school, but at home as well, unfortunately. I was never big or heavy enough for my family, so food became sort of a symbol of my incompetence. So now I share my love for fun and delicious meals with Max. For dinner, I decided to treat Max with an Indonesian meal. I'm cooking him sambal goreng kentang, which translates into roast potatoes in chili sauce. I modified the recipe with chicken because I don't eat shellfish. This was one of my favorite meals back in Indo when I was a kid, and this will be my first time making it. Good. 
it though. Cheers. Yeah, white people put soy sauce on rice. Mm. Mm -hmm. High five. Success. Mm -hmm. That's how it's supposed to taste like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One to ten, what would you give it? This is a solid um, seven point five. To be honest, I don't even I didn't even remember what this tasted like until I took this first bite, and I'm like, all the memories of me eating this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Running back. I heard story about Indonesian people and Singaporean people bringing their own sauce when they travel mm -hmm. because they want to eat chili on everything. <laughs> you know what? I changed my my score. I give it an 8.5. I like it. I'm sort of known around my friend circle to have a cheap stomach, meaning that the simplest and cheapest food gives me the most joy, like toast, fries, or a plain burger. For a long time, this was the case because I had no money, but I actually do love simple food and still prefer it to expensive meals because it reminded me of more innocent days, when it didn't matter if I weighed less than everyone in my classroom or if I had the perfect body to turn someone else on. Searching for something that ain't lost Have we got our lines crossed We're wasting time with stuff doesn't really matter while wishing for something better